I was going to lock the doors. What? I was going to. I was going to take a pipe, stick it in the exhaust, turn it on, stick it in the windows, and lock the doors, and just have the two of us sit there. Fucking hell, Peter. It's all right, you know. What? I didn't. Peter. I figured it out. What? I figured it out about you and him. And, and, well, I don't know his name. But I know that you've fallen in love with someone else. And you've been lying about where you've been going. You've been going out and dressing up and going out. And I don't know, fucking. You've been fucking some other guy. I know, I know it, Alice. You don't have to deny it. It's all right. I haven't. I said you don't have to deny it. I haven't, though, Peter. It's not true. You don't even have to look at me and I can tell. When I saw you, the way you were dressed. Because you're not dressing like that for me. Are you, Alice? Are you, though, mate? I've not been doing anything. I only reckon it's a good thing. It's good that, you know, that you found somebody you thought would love you, but... I nearly did. I didn't. What? I nearly did, and then I didn't. What does that even mean? It means exactly what I said. There was an opportunity, and I didn't take it. An opportunity? Yeah. And someone from work who you don't know. Who occasionally I've met outside of work for a drink or for a chat or for a coffee. And one time he tried to. I didn't. Part of me really wanted to, but I did nothing. Right. Yeah. You always say that and it does my head in. And I was standing there looking at this man who wanted so badly to kiss me, to touch me, just to have me. And he's a handsome man and he's funny and he's alive and he does things he does. But I did nothing because of you. So don't speak to me as though it's perfectly within your right to put a tube in our exhaust pipe, you fucking coward. No, you didn't do it. Straight I off, didn't... Christopher. Don't. I wanted you to know that. Because I've been carrying it around. I held his head and his eyes kind of flickered. And... I don't want to hear this. His breathing was all jagged. And it looked like... It looked like it was horrible. And it wasn't peaceful and it wasn't sudden. And I wanted you to know that. Because every time I open my eyes, I see him hit. And every time I close them, I see him dying. And I blame the pub. And I blame the landlord. And I blame the brewery. And I blame the people who had the chairs and the, and, the, and the television there. People that grew the barley and just stole the water. Made the, the crates and the kegs. And the van drivers that drove it there. Because if one of them had just decided not to, then maybe I wouldn't have gone. And maybe I wouldn't have done it. Maybe, maybe I would have been with him instead. And maybe we'd still have him. But that's insane talk. That I know that. I know. I know it is. And I know that and I should have been the one that should have stopped him. And I know it's nobody else's fault but mine. And I'm sorry, Alice. But there's nothing... I can do about it now. And I feel sick all the time. That means nothing to me. No? No. Do you ever wonder how many stars in Milky Way? Have you? No. About 200 billion? You know, nights like this, sometimes you can lay back and you start to see them more and more. You see them more properly. And it's like, no, it makes me want to fucking die. It makes me want to vomit. I don't sleep. I'm tired all the time. But my dreams scare the shit out of me. And I wish you hadn't died, Alice. I know. I do too. We need to go, you know. The road Either way. Can we just sit here for a minute and hold hands? You know what, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs>